Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to show you uh, two samples from the Megabox. Uh, uh, PLA from Material 3D and Advanced PLA from 3D Fuel. So let's have a look after the intro. So the first filament is 3D 850 PLA from Materio 3D. Uh, they sent uh, a sample of the color choice with a maker box uh, printed out, small samples, but uh, also this uh, red filament that I tried out. So let's have a look. So the print uh, came out really well. Uh, they say the printing temperature should be 190 to 230. And I printed out at 210 degrees. Uh, uh, I did a temperature tower test, and uh, at the lower temperature, uh, 180 to 170, uh, I got a little bit of stringing, uh, but at 220 to 210, it was printing uh, pretty good, and I stuck with, got stuck with 210. I found that to be the cleanest uh, print here at the 7 Ocean. I did uh, test out uh, a tolerance test, uh, like a negative tolerance test, and all the uh, cylinders, they were just completely loose. So even at 0.2 millimeters tolerances, it was uh, working excellent. So uh, I didn't have any cylinders stuck. Uh, and you can see my cat is trying to fix everything I did here, <laughs> but this test uh, came out uh, really good and uh, there was no issues. I also did a bridging test uh, and there was a little bit of drooping at the longest span, but uh, other than that it was working uh, really well and I really like the color of this filament also. I tried out uh, the overhang test uh, and those test pieces are part of the make tests uh, pieces that you can find on Thingiverse uh, and at the 70 degrees there was no issues, just came out pretty good. There was a tiny surface uh, difference between 70 and, and 60 degrees but uh, it came out perfect. Uh, I tried out this uh, string uh, retraction test and they came out pretty good also. There's a tiny wisps of, of stringing uh, in the upper part, uh, but it's like a fine, very fine web between the, the spikes, but otherwise it came out pretty good and the shape of the spikes are pretty good. So I was quite happy with that. I also got the, the Maker's Muse uh, tolerance test. I, I bought this model from his Gumroad uh, website. and uh, I ran out of filament so it didn't finish and the top layer uh, might have gotten uh, a little bit smudged because of that. Uh, the zero point uh, zero, zero 01 got fused like this, so it's no way this would turn and uh, 0.2, uh, no, 0.15 is, is stuck but 0.2 is, is loose and I had to break it away, it was uh, stuck in the beginning but I just uh, turned it a little bit with my fingers and it got loose and all the others are, are quite loose so it uh, printed really well and this, uh, I really like the color of this filament and it printed uh, without any problems and all the surface finish is, is great and I'm really happy with this filament. So let's have a look at the other one. So this filament is advanced PLA from 3D Fuel. Uh, this one uh, has a recommended printing temperature of 190 to 230 and I printed out a tower, uh, got pretty good results on all uh, 
all temperature tested from 170 to 230. So uh, I think I stuck with 210 also with this filament. It was uh, here in the middle and it was uh, printing really well. Uh, the bridging uh, on this test piece was pretty much similar on all temperatures and uh, I think it has a good range of temperatures. Um, this uh, print, test print came out fine. Uh, the bridging was quite good and uh, there's a little bit of stringing in the in the overhang tests and the tower here has a little bit of stringing uh, but otherwise the surface finish is, is really good and the, has a good uh, shine to it this, this print. Uh, I also printed out my maker coin and it came out really well. Uh, There's very good detail in the in the print and no no issues. And it is a uh, very good uh, print, I would say. I then printed out two uh, rhinos. I found this on Thingiverse. This is just a toy <laughs> model I found. And I just wanted to test out some some other models. And, and found those rhinos, they print uh, like this, uh, laying down in, on the bed and the feet are like uh, embedded into the print, so it, uh, it is just, uh, when you take it off the print bed, the feet just drop down, so it was a uh, very easy print and it came out really well and has a good shine to it and I like the, it's like dark orange color to this filament and I would definitely uh, recommend this filament for normal PLA printing it was really easy to work with and had a quite good uh, range on the temperature settings so it doesn't mind uh, different temperatures so this will be uh, this video on, on the 3D850 PLA from Materio 3D and Advanced PLA from 3D Fuel both of those filament printed out really easily and uh, I didn't have any issues uh, using my normal PLA settings uh, on the Prusa printer with this uh, filaments. I really like the color of the material uh, filament. It is a very dark red color and the color samples they had in the, in the maker box uh, gives you an idea if you got that box of their color options and the 3D Fuel Advanced PLA was also uh, easy and, and especially uh, regarding temperature it, it didn't mind high or low temperature at all it printed out the same basically on all temperatures I tested with so uh, uh, this would be uh, a good filament to play around with I think uh, but for now, I, I thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.